This is Homeschool Arcade helping educators thrive. Now, we've all likely heard of sports drinks and the importance of replenishing electrolytes. But what are electrolytes? Do we really need them? Are sports drinks a good place to get them? Well, we'll answer those questions in this video. And if you like our content, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Let's check it out. You likely already know that the human body is made mostly of water. Now to be exact, the average adult human body is about 55 to 60% water. And we can survive about three days without it. But actually, the water in our body is not pure water. It's mixed with cells, proteins, sugars, electrolytes, and other substances. So today, we're going to talk about electrolytes. Now, what exactly are they? And why do we need them? Well, here it is. Electrolytes are substances that when dissolved in water break into charged particles. In these charged particles we call them ions. Now, there's positively charged ions called cations and negatively charged ions called anions. Now, one example you might already be familiar with is table salt or what you call in science class sodium chloride. And when salt is dissolved into water, it breaks into both positively charged sodium cations and negatively charged chloride anions. And other electrolytes commonly found in our bodies include things like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. So simply put, what electrolytes are is they're charged particles or ions found in the water of our bodies. But why are they important? Why do we need them? Well, it has to do with the fluid or, or the water balance in our bodies, you know. One of the important functions of our bodies is how they maintain even amounts of water throughout, both inside and outside of cells. Now the water in our bodies also has to have the right mix of components within it. It can't be too dilute or it can't be too concentrated. So how do our bodies move this water to make sure the mix is right? Well. What happens is the water in our bodies generally moves through a selectively permeable membrane. And, and what does that mean? Well, it means that some things such as water are allowed to pass through and other things are not. And interestingly, our bodies never actually actively transport the water itself. Water always seems to move from areas of low or, or diluted concentration of solutes to areas with higher concentrations of solutes. And this process of water movement in our bodies, we call it osmosis. The water movement's called osmosis. So if the water moves on its own through osmosis, how do our bodies maintain the fluid balance? Well, this is where the electrolytes come in. The electrolytes, when they come into play here, is, well, although our bodies can't move water, they can move electrolytes. So our bodies can actively move the electrolytes to indirectly control water movement it's kind of it kind of guides the water movement through and our bodies move electrolytes to an area to create higher concentrations of sol of solutes which then causes water to move to that area and this is how our body helps maintain proper fluid balance so with that let's check out this week's fyi fyi for your information electrolytes help the muscles to relax and contract So another vital important thing about electrolytes is they're essential for muscle contraction and relaxation. And this process is very complicated and, and to be honest, it isn't completely understood even today. But we wouldn't be able to move without electrolytes. So the question is, well should we drink sports drinks to replenish electrolytes when exercising to help with dehydration and fluid balance? Well in all honesty, in most circumstances, no. Plain water is usually the best choice when exercising. It does a sufficient job of rehydrating your body, and we usually have enough electrolytes already in our bodies from just a regular healthy diet. 
Although, if you do choose to participate in high intensity exercises that last more than 45 minutes, this might be the exception where a sports drink could be helpful. So people who like run marathons or they do long distance bicycling or other endurance sports where they're running nonstop, they may benefit from a little extra intake of electrolytes because of the increased fluid loss and the added electrolytes will help make sure they stay hydrated. So, to sum it all up, electrolytes are charged particles in our bodies, such as salt, that are important in maintaining proper fluid balance and hydration. And in most cases, we get enough electrolytes in our normal food and drinks. So, now you know more about electrolytes. And we hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click, like, subscribe, and share this content with others. And that way you can also be notified when we have more videos on the way. And if you like this content, go ahead and share it with your friends. Y'all have a good one.